in a past video, we've discussed the uh, three-way fridges and how they work. What I want to show you today is an AES fridge. AES fridges have been around for, for a few years now. Um, they're very, very easy to operate, probably harder to explain. Uh, so as I said, it's a Thetford three-way fridge and it's an AES. AES means it's automatic energy selecting. Uh, so once your fridge is on, very hard probably to see, but there's a little power button here with a light. When I hit the grey button, it shows us the display and it lights up. Now that'll go out every probably 10 or 15 seconds. I'll just push it back on. If you can see this, this is telling us that we're on A for automatic and it's selected the 240 volt. We can manually change that by holding the grey button in and it, this line starts to flash and we scroll through and we can manually select. So there's 240, uh, there's your temperature, battery, gas and back to A for automatic and then when you want to go to temperature hit the grey button again and we can increase and decrease our temperature. What I really want to concentrate on today is just showing you how this works. Now, we are plugged into 240 volt, so it's the fridge has picked up that that's the best source of power to run the fridge. Now, if we disconnect the 240 volt, it then goes looking for something else. Now, because we're not hooked to a vehicle, it will pick the gas up. So what I'm going to do is demonstrate that. I'm going to just push this. I'm going to duck down here kill the circuit breakers and look at that you can see how it's gone straight to gas now I'm just going to wait there okay now we're going to push this again and we'll go back to 240 okay so I've turned the circuit breaker back on and look at that it's gone straight over to 240 volt now if we hook our car up and your car needs to be wired up with what's called a sensing wire now that sensing wire is only a very light wire, but it tells the fridge that you're connected to the vehicle. The 12 volt and the battery symbol off an absorption fridge does not mean it runs off the battery in the van. It's actually designed to run off the car's alternator. So to get it to go to battery, we connect our car up with the uh, sensing wire that the fridge says, okay, we're now connected to the car. The engine starts and then that will flick straight over to the battery. Now, if you want to get your fridge cold, the day before you go, put it on to 240 or put it on to gas. The battery will not cool down a fridge. It will maintain a fridge temperature while you're driving. Thanks for watching and catch us on the next video.